It's all it's right all to be right. just a little bit crazy. Being, being creative, creative is being a little bit crazy in just the right vibration. With that, With that in mind, you should understand, should understand God's, God's completely insane. insane. <laughs>
and to try to figure out really what worked for me. It was no longer about what worked for everybody else. It had to work for me as well. You know, there had to be this synergistic and symbiotic relationship between the work that I do, the in-service work that I do, the yeah. being of service, as well as, as what works for me, for my own evolution, oh, for yeah. my own going forward. Yeah, you definitely got to put yourself first. People think it's selfish but it's not because I like it's to say like this yeah I like to I like to say this if, if you want to share a plate of cookies you have to have a plate of cookies in the first place to share that's right that's absolutely right and that's very that's a very good way of putting that and if you don't have a plate of cookies to share then you don't have much plate of cookies to share it's just that simple uh -huh. so, you know I mean it gets no better than that 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 statement right there for you Dave really amen, amen. so you know and and so now as I sit back and I look at it I have relinquished, you know, uh, you know I've relinquished um, uh, the idea, some of the ideas that I thought had to be in place. And these are processes more than they were anything else. And I realized that there was a much simpler way for this, for this to be done, this, this back to this very organic space. I can imagine, I can imagine. You, went, you went old school to new school and just jumped through the hoops with elegant and grace. <laughs> Just when someone presented itself, I said, sure, let me try that. It's got to be better than what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so much more. Uh, I'm I, proud of you. I, I, I must say that. I'm really proud of you. I know more of the details than, than you admit publicly, obviously, because we had our private conversations. But I can say I'm proud of you. I am really proud of you. Just the way you navigated 2011 was magical and, and where you've been and where you've come to. It's just, I am so I am proud of you. Not even, not even. Thank you so much. That, really, really honestly, honestly, thank you. Um, it, 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 and, I, and I still have some vestiges of that uh, last year that um, are, are kind of just hanging out there. I call them the loose ends. It's the, you know, I, I'm just waiting for, again, it's, you know, you, you put it out there. You call it intention. Uh, many people call it intention, and it's not my intention. It's an understanding that when you have unresolved anything, no matter what it is, whether it be a positive or a negative, depending on how you, you know, contextually look at that. Yeah. Um, uh, when you have something that's left unfinished, unknowing, unresolved, if you just set it, like set it up on a shelf in your view, you have to set it up on a shelf, but it has to be in your view. When you set something up on a shelf in view, but you're not interacting with it, you're just setting it up there. So every time you glance around the room, so to speak, that issue, that whatever, is sitting there. And at some point, you're going to have another piece that you're going to be able to pull that down off of the shelf, put this piece into it. Now it's removed from the shelf completely, and it'll no longer have to be in your view. That it's, makes sense. Yes, and that's how it works for me. I mean, that's just that's how it's always just happened. It's like when I have... Remember, I was telling you at the very beginning here, it's that one of the things that this time space does right now for many people, if they have not gotten this yet, is to learn how to have some patience. Because if they don't have patience, you are, talk about a stress level overload. Oh yeah. Right? I mean, if you are an easily excitable person, if you get easily frustrated, if you, you know, things have to work a certain way, if you have an expectation of an outcome and it does not show itself that way, you can literally drive yourself bananas, raise your blood oh, pressure. Yeah make your whole day miserable and That's anybody else that happens to be standing in the room with you, you're God help them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, it's what I like to say to, to people who, who see the misery paradigm as being the only reasonable thing because that, that's another thing people don't understand about like law of attraction law of alignment it doesn't give you what you want it gives you what you insist must be the absolute most real reality in your reality when some people are just like but but there's no there's no good all i see is this crap and i'm like hey if you're looking at the ground all you're see is, is gonna see is the ground and if you're in disbelief of the sky and someone says hey just look up and see the sky they're gonna go i'm not gonna do that that would be too easy the sky isn't up there so then they wonder why they're always looking at the ground and seeing nothing but the dog poop down there. <laughs> and it's that simple. It really is. So getting back to this whole patience thing, right? Yep. Now let me let me assure you as I'm sitting here <laughs> and I've said this a million times on my show. Dave, shut up! Oh sorry, yep. that was another thing. <laughs> patience is not a virtue. I had to work to learn patience. Because I had none. I had I had zip 
not a zilch patient when I was a young woman. And I had, I had, I had learned that. Or you could say it's, it's a virtue that we have the free will choice to deny, ignore, and not allow ourselves, and we have to learn how to allow things because we're so taught to disallow. Lack, struggle, limitation, that's the reality. OCD. <laughs> we are all recovering control freaks. Yes, like we to are. Say. <laughs> we really are. We truly are. Hmm. Well, let me, let me also say here to this. Because of... Uh, you showing up just because you made a choice one day to show up you need to thank yourself for stepping into the sink and flow of your life that allowed to take you to the point you've, you've arrived at at this moment agreed so, so I, that, I think that's the other portion of this is that we all of us individually and collectively have to look at where have we arrived at. It's not about the destination, guys. It really it's about is. the journey. It's it the really is. That's that. that. Yes, and <laughs> that was part of the, the thing I was getting to in the very beginning when we got cut off was the name of the show. I, I didn't really understand fully what that name meant, Journeys with Rebecca. So as I coined that, I, I found later that many other people were using that same Journeys This and Journeys That. Because it is about the journey. It's not about the destination. Amen. It's, it's, not, it's about not about the about end result. It's, it's not about, about arriving at a certain place at a certain time. It's about, it's about, about the journey. Awesome. awesome. And I didn't and I realize I, the extent of how, how really profound that was until, again, I started looking backwards, right? Yep. Not, and I'm just looking at where have I come from and where, you know, where, where what has this journey just stepping into and listening to them saying this is what I wish for you to do you need to get people on you need they need to share their information you need to share yours this needs to be a sharing 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 informational kind of a deal absolutely you know what you keep reminding me of when you would talk when you would talk about rewriting history and timelines and so forth mm -hmm. what a lot of that is actually about is that one little piece of information one new little tiny lesson in the now rewrites the perspective of your entire past because you're able to see it from a completely different point of view. Right. And re reality is created from point of view anyway. That's right. And it's amazing. I learned, learned one little tiny lesson which changes everything I thought I'd know about anything. You know, and, and it brings to clarity also what Barbara Marciniak was saying about how when you have a drama, get through it, but kind of file it away. Don't, don't judge it negatively because the drama you had now will 20 years later, you know, be an opportunity for some sort of clarity or whatever. When I first heard that, I'm just looking like, what are you talking about, witness? You know, but now it's like, I understand that now I learned something and then it reminds me of something that happened before and I'm looking back on it in a whole different light and I'm like, oh my God, I thought I understood why that happened. I was wrong. Now I understand why that happened. And, and so, just, so, and then, so here's the other point. So, in this moment, you understood what differently what happened back then, right? And then maybe tomorrow, five years from now, fifty years from now, you'll get another glimpse of it from a whole another perspective, and you'll look at it and go, "Wow, that was even deeper than I remember it being." Even five seconds from now, yes. time compression, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that, that. And so, I think that's that's what you know. This whole thing, this whole journey of life, to me. Is, is such a magnificent um, ride. It's a it's a magnificent ride in, in all of our moments of being human, and that is, you know, that is when we're you know in our stress modes, when we're in our happy modes, or whatever the case may be, when we're having, you know, a, a very challenging human moment. And we have to realize that we are human, and that's what we've come here to experience. It doesn't mean you need to stay in that state of being. Agreed. But to experience it whether it be grief or sadness or trauma or drama or negativity or an argument or screaming or whatever it is, it's okay. Move beyond it when the time comes because all you're doing is expressing yourself as yeah. a human. And when you look at it later, because we all do, we all, most of us, do, right? <laughs> we look backwards and go, gosh, I could have handled that way differently. I could have, and it's not, it's not a regretful thing. It's an illumination. It's showing love to your recovering control for nature. 
Yes. <laughs> and it's also showing an understanding that I could have done that differently. And the more you become aware of your past behaviors, the more you have clarity on how to let go of that manipulation control mechanisms, whatever it is that you were hanging on to in that moment that seemed so important that you had to be right or whatever it was, right? Yeah, no pun intended with all the right, right, left, right, right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So you, you, you sit in this moment and you go, okay, got it. And there's some, there's humility and there's humble, there's humbleness about it, right? And, and when you go forward from this day forward, you are more aware of not being reactive. Yeah, I've to I totally know what you mean. You do realize you are a very prolific speaker, right? No. You, you, re you really are, it's just there's so, 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 I mean, we are both, both of us are prone to rants, and it's like, I love your rants, because they are just so from the heart and meaningful, and they really strike home, and, you know, people say that about my rants, too, and I was never able to see it, I mean, you know, when the fish is in water, it has no awareness of the water, right, so it needs constant reflection, quantum mirror, so to speak, and, I mean, just, I know that, that you might not have any idea of just how horrific uh, and awesome just a speaker you are and that when you go into your rant, you know, and the, you're, you're always like, oh, well, excuse me, I'm prone to rant. <laughs> like, I do the same thing. But you have no idea just how awesome and inspiring your rants are and just how many jaws are dropped to the floor when you finally go quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought when people go, wow, is she done? Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> It, it, it's because it's because you're making people think. You're you really you're really saying stuff that hits home, and it just leaves people speechless. Oh, you're so cute. Thank you. Well, really, I love you too. <laughs> I do. I mean it. I, I really do. You're I love you too. You're I a do. good friend, and I appreciate you. A lot. I appreciate you. I appreciate all the work that you do. But we're what we're trying to do here is we're trying to create a new world. Oh yeah. You you cannot create a new world if you take with you all of the old stuff. Einstein said something similar. He said you cannot pull solutions out of a box of problems. Yeah, we're talking about old ideals, old uh, methodologies, old processes, old reactionary things. Uh, things triggered us the way that they used to. If you take all of the, any of that old junk and try to create something new, You'll only be able to create that something new for as long as you can hold your attention span to that. And the old programming, the old portion, the familiar portion, that which is easier to operate out of, will then begin to show its ugly head again. <laughs> so we all have to learn how to let go of how we've been and realize that that's not how we need to, to create whatever we're creating for our future. Absolutely, positively agreed. And what, one thing we, when we start to realize that, sometimes we get into the trap while we're integrating, and we say, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry," just impulsively. And the other day, and, and I, I love this again. I, I, God bless Katarina. She just, she, she. Instead of me saying, you, "You don't have to apologize for being yourself," she beat me to it. She said, "I'm sorry." And then she's like, "Why am I apologizing for being myself?" I said, "I have absolutely no idea." She's like, I need to stop doing that. I'm like, that really sounds like a great plan. <laughs> for real. Yeah. For real, it does. It sounds like an absolutely perfect plan, actually. You bet. Absolutely sounds perfect. That's and, and, how it does for being you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. And, you know, I, people still are triggered by that. They're still triggered by somebody knows more than they do. Uh, somebody has more answers than they do. They know, they know this. They know that. It's always a comparison of yourself to other people because we all speak differently. We all walk through this world at a, at a slightly different gait, a different vibration, a different outlook, a different perspective. Yes, we're all here sharing this space together, but we're also uniquely individual as well. I mean, Thank God for life not being boring. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, seriously. There's a lot of same similarities you'd have to in order to have a species to be able to get yeah. along, right? To be able to coexist. And we don't do that very well either, but I'm you know, just saying. You we know. do do that very well. We choose not to. Oh, that's, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's very, very true. So, you know, as we're as we're as we're moving through this new kind of paradigm shift, we we all have to recognize that we all hold the answers within us. So now we're all on different levels of awareness, 
but we all are still carriers of our own truth. Yeah. And giving our power away, I used to teach a class a long time ago, it's called self-empowerment, by the way. Awesome. And it really was a, a really very clear, concise thing. I had a lady that, I, I did a class, and I had a lady uh, that when we got all done, it's like it was a couple hour workshop, and uh, I got all done teaching this, and um, she came up to me and she said, you know, I, I really did not enjoy this workshop. Of course, I was a whore. I said, oh my God, why? I mean, I said, just, it was, you know, what was it about it you didn't like? <laughs> and she said, well, um, because, you know, you're trying to make people responsible. And I'm going to tell you, and this is, this is their words to me. She said, that pisses me off because I want somebody else to do it for me. Ooh. you got to love honesty, though. And I went, wow. And I looked at her, and I smiled at her, and I looked at her, and I said, then obviously this wasn't the class for you. Yeah, no kidding. You know, you and, and, you know, I wasn't, point. But, but I will tell you, had that have been another time space for me, I may have reacted entirely different, which would have been to shrink and to, you know, fall all over myself, or the opposite would have been to get Explode. very, yeah, to get very pissed off at it, whatever, <laughs> yeah, you know, so either one or the other, and instead, this middle of the road thing came out, which really honestly surprised me, yeah. and I just went, okay, note to self, that worked. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to all the emotional clearing that, you know, is required through all of this paradigm shifting stuff, I have a a funny little way of describing it. I call it paradigm shitting because it's a lot like you've taken the emotional fiber con laxatives and, you know. <laughs> TMI now. There you go. <laughs> hey, you gotta, gotta, gotta integrate polarity and be politically in incorrect. I mean, there's no yeah. good nor bad. There just is. Let's merge them together and have a party. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Love it, love it, love it. Truly do. Really. I have to give you some crap about something every once in a while, you know. Oh, I wish you'd give me more to <laughs> talk more often. <laughs> Getting a little nostalgic there. You know, well, let me share something with you. Just This is on record now, right? This is public record now, right? If I feel that you are overstepping your, your rants or if I feel that they're asking me to tell you to shut up, I have no problem with doing that. Good for you. Because <laughs> sometimes I need someone to just come up and, and, and you know, Kat Katerina does this for me too, and I love her. She's a good friend. A good friend knows when to walk up to me and say, Dave, shut up. <laughs> I, love, right. I love you, Dave, but please shut up. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. And a true friend, you know, let's talk about friends for a minute. Um, let's do you know, A friend is really somebody who's not just going to stand beside you and tell you what you want to hear. They're the ones that's going to be your toughest critic as well as, as, as your best friend at the same time. They're going to be both the alpha and omega. They're going to be both your left and your right. They're going to be the balancing feature um, for you if they are a true friend. They're not going to be afraid to say, look, you are getting a little big for your britches there, girlfriend. <laughs> right they're not going to be afraid to say that to you and then on the other other token they're also not going to say look you need to get up out of your funk and realize that you're important they're also going to do that as well when you need that and you're going to do the same thing for your friends you're going to do that back that's what we're here for this is how we help each other we help each other not by saying you know Dave everything you do is absolutely perfect well, if it was absolutely perfect, then what would you need to work on, Dave? <laughs> what, what would you need to look forward to? You've already reached your state of perfection. What are you doing here? But don't you see I'm perfectly imperfect? <laughs> you, you see the point. You see the point. If, if you have somebody that, if, if you know, Dave, if you told me, you know, I, I, think, I think you need to go buy a new pair of shoes, and I went out and bought a new pair of shoes, and you might tell me, you know, I think you need to go and buy us dinner, and I'd go out and buy you dinner. If, and if I was constantly just doing that because you said so, because I wanted to create happiness, what I thought was happiness for you, I'm in effect absolutely doing the opposite. Because somewhere you are looking for somebody to tell you no. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes as humans can't do the work on our own, so we set up scenarios so that we create the circumstances so that somebody else can put us in check yeah. because we won't do it for ourselves. And sometimes it's also to where when they tell us no, we say, you know what, no to your no, I'm going to do it anyway because what people don't realize is no one's going to give you 
responsibility. Especially younger people, they're like, oh, well, when I'm old enough, I'll be given responsibility. No, you won't. If you expect to be given responsibility, then your parents, your friends, your family, your coworkers, everybody will unintentionally and unknowingly be controlling you and walking all over you for the rest of your life because they have detachment issues just as much as anybody else does. You've got to stand up and take responsibility and go, you know what? I love you, but I'm sovereign. That's right. And make you know, and each choice you make, know that if the, if, if the choice doesn't work out to the best of your hopes, dreams, wishes, intentions, then you make a different choice. When you got lemons, make lemonade. Sometimes it's just to shift your perspective. I like to, I like to tell people, you know, if one day you woke up and on your front lawn, there was this huge, huge, huge mountain of horse poop, you'd probably be going, oh, woe is me. Who put this there? And oh, it's going to be such a mess to clean up and I'm such a victim. But I say, you know what, that's not what I would do. I'd be getting on the phone to farmers saying, you know what, there's got to be about 10 mil worth of fertilizer here. <laughs> Why to come and pick it up? <laughs> exactly. Opportunity, not bird. Because, right. you know, nobody ever has a lack. What they actually have is an abundance of lack because you can't lack anything. You can only have abundance of things. So if you have lack and you have struggle and you have birth, you, you have an abundance, abundance of it. Because what you put way. energy in the growth. That's exactly right. You love what you what you put your focus on and your Some intention into. Your... Love giving themselves shit. Let me tell you. And I don't I don't mean the manure kind. I mean they're so hard on themselves. I said to a friend the other day who's been realizing to to make things easier on themselves and the universe has been reflecting that they've been learning their lessons easier. I said congratulations. You finally allowed the universe to bitch slap you with a pillow instead of the metal rod. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And that person has been an awesome teacher for me, too. All my friends have. I mean, I've taught Jay Larson a lot, and he's taught me a lot. And I've taught Katerina a lot, and she's taught me a lot. You've taught me a lot, and I've taught you a lot. Although I must say, Katerina is my absolute best friend and most perfect mirror. My God, we love each other to death. We kiss each other off like crazy. We, we talk civil. We fight. We do everything. And then at the end of all of it, what always happens is we're laughing our asses off at ourselves, at each other, and saying how much we appreciate each other. It's just it's one of those things. It's an awesome type of friend, too. Rock on, brother. I'll okay. See Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. <laughs> very, very careful. Hey, you know I had to do it. <laughs> just to give you put an open shot in. You know me. Hey, yeah. what, what, what you resist persists. I just couldn't resist. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. I'll remember that. I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah, when it's my turn for you to kick me in my butt. Yeah, yeah, well, well, babe, I was only taking your advice. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. Perfect, thank you. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up.